Let's talk about our whistle widget of the week. This is something that we use in our life, in our business, that saves us time, uh, makes us more money, or just lets us have a little more fun. What do you have for us, Shannon? Um, so my widget of the week is, uh, I probably talked about this before, but I'm repeating myself if I have because it's worth repeating, is uh, open to close, which mm -hmm. is what we use for our transaction management system, our listing and transaction management system. It's where all of the stuff for everything from agreement to close is all tracked. It's where it's the main system that our team works out of to make sure that each of these checklist items are actually getting done um, and making sure that, you know, that emails get sent out from it. It's, it takes everything for that transaction and it like builds itself basically. So you just tell the system, okay, when I check off this task, I want it to send this email out. Right. And then you set up the email template and then it just like all the, all your team has to do is literally hit a button look at the email and then hit send and it's like all pre-built and it creates it for you. It's really, really cool. Like scaling your business, this is a huge, huge, huge lift for us. It solves so many problems for us. So yeah, open and close is, is where it's at. Now, if you're a solo agent and you want to be a solo agent forever, maybe this is a system that's probably a little too complicated. Probably. That being said, if you're if you're even if you're a solo agent now, but you go, I am going to grow a team. I want to grow ten agents, twenty agents, thirty agents, hundred agents, and and you want to build for the future. Open to close is absolutely one of those things that you can build into, utilize more and more and more of it. Um, if that's your plan, I wouldn't. If if that is your plan, I would not say start with something simple and then do the next process and the next process and the next process. Build into it um, and grow into it if that's the direction that you know you're going. Mine is uh, very the opposite. Um, it's very simplistic. It's very free. It's not something I knew about until this year. And since I've known about it, it's made this tool massively more valuable to me. And so within Google Sheets, you have the ability to add filters. And what that is, um, well, I'll just, if you click on the very top left, um, I don't, don't, just Google how to do filters if you want to see how to do it. It's You're, you're going to want to see it anyways. But what it'll allow you to do is it'll look at everything in that column. You can probably do rows. I don't know. In that column, uh, that's the vertical columns. And you can say, hey, I want to see only everything in here that that is, uh, you, you can choose. I want to see everything in here that has a yes. So then if, so if you're having an RSVP like we just did uh, for an event, you have the names on one side. Do they RSVP? Yes, no, or blank. I want to see all the yeses. You can click the filter button and see all the yeses. It hides everything else. Um, you can, we, I use it in my marketing scorecard. I say, hey, I want to see all the leads created in November. And I can do that. Um, it doesn't work well if you're like, I want to see all the people with the last name A that starts with A. It doesn't work that way. But if you're like, I want to see everyone that registered with the last name Smith because they registered 38 people. I need to see what's going on there. You can do it that way as well. Um, but literally just adding a filter on your columns for Google Sheets has made that tool massively more valuable um, and a lot, <laughs> it's annoying because I'm like, I use Monday for everything. And now the more and more I learn about Google Sheets, I'm like, oh, it's way better. It's on really there. cool. Yeah. And it's free. So I'm a big fan of Google Sheets and the filter function. That is it for this episode of the Real Estate Success, The Whistle Way Podcast. I'm Brian Kochi, joined by Shannon Yousefi. Thank you so much for joining us. Wait, wait. Before you leave, I want to share some more tips and tricks that we're using in our business to take it to that next level. Just click right here. And don't forget to subscribe. Click right here.